It's a loaded baked potato and a hearty creamy soup all in one. We say it's the perfect potato soup for a cold day. Rachel Yerkes of Easy Peasy Meals is joining me with her recipe. Gorgeous and green. I have the same dress I was oh, telling her. <laughs> now this soup I love that is made in a crock pot because so easy saves you so much time. Yeah, it's very nice, especially during the holiday season when chaos reigns and nobody needs to spend a lot of time standing over the, the stove top. Yeah. This is a like dump and leave it alone soup that can be for a busy night, a holiday party, Whatever. Anything, anything. Okay, so are we using a specific type of potato? Let's jump in. What are we doing? Okay, so we're using russet potatoes. Okay. I've made this soup with all the kinds of potatoes, and russet's the best because of the starch content. It just gives you the best texture for your soup. So nice. you. I think yeah. we have those on hand, most of us, so yeah. that's nice. Yeah, they're very simple to find and very inexpensive. So all you're going to do is you can peel or not peel. Oh, okay. Your what potatoes. do you prefer? I prefer them peeled. I okay. think kids tend kids. to like... Mm -hmm. You know, no peel. Yes. But if you're in a rush, don't peel them. Okay, just love chop that. them up. So you chop them up. They don't have to be super small. You're going to mash them later, and then you're going to add a little bit of chicken broth. This is what helps them cook um, down into like that nice creamy consistency, and then some onion and garlic for flavor. Yeah, I was smelling that onion earlier. Yeah, and then we'll just add a little salt and pepper, and that's it. Okay, is it still going to taste good if I don't want hunks of onion in it? Because I don't love hunks of onion. Well, you can use an immersion blender okay. and blend it all okay. up, or you okay. can cut your onion smaller, or I you can even leave it out and just use a little bit of onion seasoning mm -hmm. if you don't like pieces of onion. Okay, thanks. My kids don't like chunks of onion either, <laughs> and so I blend it all up. I okay. make a really creamy soup. You can um, make it creamier or chunkier depending still get the on your taste. preference. I yeah. like that. Okay. And so you add like milk and cheese and cream cheese at the end, which makes it super creamy. But this is all you have to do. There's five ingredients. That's it. You put the lid on and leave it alone. It's You're not so putting simple. any liquid in there. I put the chicken. Just that, just the broth, that's mm -hmm. it. Okay, it's not yeah. covered though, so it seems like. Nope, it just cooks really nicely, then you mash it all up, and at the end you add more liquid okay. to get your preference and consistency. Okay, so after it's mashed, then we add some more. Yep. Yeah, and you're setting awesome. this up like a bar, which I love. Okay, so I love bar style when you're feeding either a group, as in like you're having a party, or even kids. Because I don't know about you, but like my kids can be a little bit picky sometimes, sure. and not everyone likes the same things. So I always recommend make a basic creamy potato soup, which Look is that. so good. This mm -hmm. soup is seriously so creamy and cheesy and yummy. And then give everyone options of what they want to add in. So for my bar, I always do some hot sauces, and then your classic potato soup toppings like cheese, bacon, chives. And then I like to elevate it with a little bit of like caramelized onion or roasted garlic for mm. people who want like a little bit more of a, you know, like a mature taste. Yes, yes. And then I also like to pair it with tons of options for bread. Different bread. So it's loves. like a soup bowl bar plus a bread bar almost. Yeah, everybody gets what they want and it's so simple. And so you've got, is this cornbread? Cornbread, Corn bread, garlic Texas bread. toast. Mm. King's Hawaiian rolls. Like, I didn't put a ton of effort in here, but it looks like I did. It does. And you also yeah. like to throw in some protein options. People are on protein kicks these days. You know, everybody has different preferences when it comes to, like, their meals and how much protein they want. Mm -hmm. And so I know, like, some people are going to be like, well, this doesn't feel like a meal to me because there's not, like, a main like a meat. mean meat. Yes. And so I love to add like diced ham or shredded chicken or lots of bacon because then people can have as much or as little protein as they want. And it works for your vegetarian crowd as well as your meat eaters and carnivores. Do you have like, I know in my house we have like our soup bowls. Is there like, do you, cause I see that where you've displayed it, it's kind of like wide and big. Any, any specific bowl so you like to I make? love doing the wide big because we're topping it. So yes. it gives you a little bit more real estate to add all your toppings and make it fun. And we always eat with our eyes first. And so you want it to be like really visual and fun. I love so. that idea. Okay, so yeah. easy peasy meals. Where are you on on socials and everything? Yeah, you can find me on Instagram and Facebook and TikTok and all the things. And it's just <laughs> e like the letter e z p z meals. There's so. z's in there. Yep, I saw z's. that when I looked all you z's. up. Okay, yeah. perfect. Thanks, so. Rachel. This will yeah. be so fun for the holidays. Yeah, Appreciate it's you. a perfect perfect way to set it up. Perfect. That's what we like.